All right, hello, fellow citizens, and uh, welcome to the latest hangar update. Uh, I don't know the number, but yeah, it doesn't really matter because this hangar update is Arena Commander. So first of all, you notice this weird-ass-looking white aurora here as the textures start to pop in, and. Uh, there are actually three new ships in my hangar, which are trainer versions that will, uh, I guess, disappear once they add the actual ships I actually own to the hangar. Which is kind of unfortunate, because uh, this 300 i is way better equipped than my 315P. Not to mention, just basically, it, it has as many weapons as a freaking... 325, just not quite as powerful. Um, on the other hand, this Aurora is not nearly as well equipped as my LN. Just not nearly as cool looking either. Although, all three of these trainer ships do have more um, effective, um, what you call it? Yeah. Um, HUD interface, whatever. Anyway, in order to uh, activate Arena Commander, the first thing you have to do is uh, crap. Right, so anyway, uh, after uh, starting the hangar and patching it, which could take a while, you have to go over here and, oh wait, first, watch this, this is so cool. Well, this is slightly amusing. Ta-da, I just used my towel now, it's all filthy. Okay, so, you go over here, pick up the helmet, and unfortunately they haven't got the animation for putting it on yet, but presumably... In a later version, you'll do your flip thing, and it'll be awesome. Also, uh, yeah, there's a new, um, new suit. It's all black. And, uh, the guy is actually wearing, like, a coif. Coif? 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 You know, the little hoodie thing, hood-like thing that serves skin tight to your head and whatnot. And, uh, so, Citra noticed this first, but I don't know if this was here before, but there's a helmet now inside of the fish tank, too. So anyway, once you get in that, you just uh, get inside any cockpit here of the uh, ships that are actually working for Arena Commander. And, um... Sit down. Beep boop. There you go. So, yeah, if you are like most of us, you don't have a um, multiplayer yet, but you can still do free flight and vandal swarm on two different maps. And it actually runs surprisingly well on my computer, considering my video card is only really mid-range and my processor isn't that great. What those things on the ceiling are for? Maybe they're just for grabbing onto? I don't know. And every once in a while it says connection loss for some reason. But anyway, before I do that, and also because I want to try using a different ship for this, um... Let's go take a look at something else real quick. Huh, what is this thing? Besides, very strange. Okay. <clears throat> they also changed the controls around a bit. 
So, uh, check your control options, because uh, things are different now. Alright, let's see. The, uh... Well, I'll show you the 300i cockpit later, because I'm actually going to fly in that one first. I think. And also, apparently, I guess because I own a Caterpiggle, they gave me this uh, Hornet here to replace the fact that I can't use it yet. The Caterpiggle. I think the missiles are on these in here. Not sure. There might be just be lights. I, I know they're in the wings somewhere. It's not really clear where. And these are gigantic miniguns that gigantic chain guns that require a uh, real uh, spin of time. Now here's the thing that I wanted to show you. This is kind of different now. Um, I'm not quite sure, but it seems slightly longer and slightly taller. The Freelancer, that is. But, um... Yeah, and as you'll notice, they seem to have uh, put those weird-ass big guns on every side. Which, uh, I'm not complaining about. I thought they looked really good. Um, also, they changed the art on the belly. Yes. Uh, I don't know... I, we still have no idea what it is, but now it's different looking. Actually, it looks a lot more like some sort of radar sensor thingy now. Also, I think this might be slightly different, I don't know. Any case, let's go in here. First thing you'll notice, uh, okay, well, besides the glitched animation there, which doesn't always happen, is that there's a door much closer to my face now. Also, you can do that. I don't think it does anything. And the uh, tables, control panels are back down. I wish you could do something with them, but you can't. But you can do that. I have no idea what that does. I think you're supposed to be open, able to open something in front of the sink. And they finally added a shower curtain type thing. Basically, you know, so people can't watch you showering. Uh, or crapping, for that matter. What else? Uh, I think there used to be two stool seats here, and now there's only one. I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. The, uh... Ladders. I think those are different. Looks like they now actually uh, extend, or will, once you put that in. And the jump seats, everything here is the same. One thing that's different though, for some reason, there's a little screen on the thing here that actually just shows the other side of the uh, thing. I don't know, it's just transparent. Hopefully that'll actually become something eventually. So yeah, Freelancer has a lot of new, neat stuff. I think the textures are better too. Now let's go in the back. Now, one thing you'll notice in the back is there's an airlock here. Do not stand here, okay? Well, uh, I'm not sure where to stand exactly, but here is the docking clamp with a ladder thingy. So we have a docking ring here. And a ladder thing. And then we can go back here to the main cargo hold, which seems to have been extended. They changed this whole area quite a lot. Uh, the ceiling, as you can see, is now fairly flat, and there's no more cargo crane there, which is a little bit disappointing. They got these things all the way over here. I'm not sure if this is like all the piston for the door, because seems a bit much. Um, pretty sure the detailing is different too. Uh, ah, yes. Now let's open this. So completely new animation here. Um, now one 
Unfortunate thing that they did add also was they accidentally removed the clipping for most of the ramp. But yeah. Overall, it's looking pretty good. Definitely liking some of the change a lot of the changes. I don't think that little thing with the uh thing in the center of the screen was there before. I don't know. I hmm. Yeah, it does seem slightly bigger somehow. And brighter. I think part of it is I think they added PBR finally to the uh this build. So everything's a lot Everything looks a little bit more realistic lighting wise. Um well, not everything, but a lot of things. So let's get in this uh, 300i, because it's a speedy little bugger. It's very fast and nimble. Click, click, click. No clicking noise. Aw. Oh yeah. Before I go in there, I'll show you one more thing. Here. Ready? Wait, where is it? Come on. Do the thing. Mm. Oh, glitched animation, but still. Whee! Okay, so yeah. Now you slide down the ladder, which makes things go a bit faster. And I think you climb up faster, too. Hmm. Alright. Let's see. I think the texture's in here. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's the 300i and not the 315p, but... No, no, I think the textures are slightly more high res. They removed the uh, joke about the shit being dangerous. Electrical box covers must be closed at all times. Alright, so anyway, pressing use will flip the chair around and let you sit in it. And I think the. Uh, Restraints are actually not um, sitting on the uh, chair anymore, so you don't actually sit on them. All right, so here's the new HUD for the 300 i 300 series, and let's get into the game. And hopefully, my targeting reticle will exist because last time it didn't. Service. Core system. Operational. Yeah. Alright, okay. Very sexy voice. Ah, good. Pick up. Targeting's up. Alright. I'm using my... Contact. 3D Logitech 3D Pro Ultra Megazord. Whatever. Uh, ah, scavengers. Alright, so one thing that's really irritating right off the bat is that for some reason... The yaw, which you see the stick moving there, is bound to the Scan initiated. twist of the joystick, which makes it very difficult to actually turn like that. And basically, yeah, so, but uh, oh my god, did I, oh no, what, huh. Scan. Okay, well, I'm probably having a bit of issue uh, with the frame rate because I'm recording. Usually don't have any issues. Now, let's see. I think that guy must have crashed into some sort of asteroid or something. Come on, stop spinning and let me shoot you in the face. Whoa. Hello, kitty cat. Please don't. Don't screw up my... Alright. Oh, what's the button for matching speed? I think that's it. Alright, I have you now. And get out. Sit down, cat. Alright. Go ahead, kitty. Alright, looks like we took down three of them. You get two wingmen. 
warlord who's some guy Contact. and Vixen who's some woman and I think Vixen is a cyborg too initiated. she didn't ask for it though Alright, let's target this guy. Oh no, they're on Willow Tail. It would be much easier to control this if my turning works the way I want it to. Alright. Damn, they really like Warlord. What's the, uh... Alright. That's the... Actor burner button. Stop getting in front of me, cat. Stop it. I gave you your food. I gave you your water. I got that lizard off of your foot that had attached itself via mouth. more do you want? Alright. Come on now. Damn. I could just get the twitch, the twist to work Alert. properly. Oh shit. Okay. Ah, I got you. She's very enthusiastic, she is. Whoa. Don't want him to shoot at me. Alright. Oh, okay. Now I've got crap. I should have twisted when I should have. Yeah. Okay, what else can I do here? I can disable some of the safety locks and let's see, if I disable coupled mode, then I'll just fly around backwards. Yeah, alright. Alert. Systems Okay, let's go back into uh alert. Gotcha. Whoa! Proximity alert. Yeah, I saw that. <sighs> oh bloody hell. It's a rune and I say bloody hell. I'm not British. Why would I say that? Where the hell is he? Where the hell is anyone? I hear them. Ah, oh, there we go. Little King. Oh shit. Oh crap. Stay away from me. Initiated. Alright. Fire. Achieved missile lock. Crap. Come on. I have you now. Wait, where's that missile going? Oh shit. Whoa! Oh crap. Oh! Jesus! Uh, yeah, it looks like I lost one of my. Oh god. That's bad. Hmm. That was like some refreshing shields. Uh, hell. I think I lost. I think I lost. Oh no. Got him. Well, some of the control. Some of the uh, details aren't quite perfect. Like, uh, for example, my missile is just sort of floating there. Probably use it before it uh, disappears for good. Yeah. Oh, no. 
Ooh, cockpit kill. Ah, oh, yeah. Initiated. Proximity alert. Now, if you come here. Overheats like a freaking mofo. I don't know what that means. Why did I even say that? Because everybody says that. Gotta say it. People say. Alright. So, it would appear that a circular thing. Excuse me, warlord. Damn it, cat, get out of my way. So, when things are working, which is actually fairly often, automated repairs, hold, nothing repaired, Contact. everything's still fucked up, ah, crap, okay, where are the contacts, I guess, oh, they're there, Alert. Systems overheating. Probably due to my sharp turn there. Alert. Systems overheating. Alert. Systems overheating. Controls. I'd really like to be able to access more easily. What is with the Alert. Grave? Systems overheating. Hostile yeah. eliminated. Scan initiated. Alright, jerkly bastard. Let's do this. Hey, you get off my dick then, damn it. Systems close to that deadly terraforming beam. I should probably get away from there. Contact. Oh, it's a hunter. Where is he? There we go. Hmm. Sure wish I had track IR. Scan initiated. Get off my little buddy. Whoa! Oh shit! No, warlord! You bastards! Wait, he's fine. Who is that guy? What? Damn, this thing just loves to overheat. Seriously, just take that guy out like that? That was surprisingly easy. Oh yeah, boy. Contact. It's the priest. Scan initiated. Alright. Yeah. Nice. 
All right. Shit. Get off me. Alert. Systems overheating. Stern shielding depleted. Scan initiated. Refreshing shields. Okay, where are you? Refreshing shields. Achieved missile lock. Now eliminated. Alert. Oh Systems crap. Overheating. Oh crap. Bumped into the priest's wrecked carcass. Scan initiated. All right, there you are. Get off, my buddy. That's right. You run away. Systems over here. Scan initiated. Proximity alert. Whoa. Rammy? Alert. Systems overheating. Gotcha. Alert. Nice. Systems yes. overheating. Hostile eliminated. Hmm. Another one. Wave seven. Contact. Where are you? Scan initiated. There we go. Side of this terraforming laser. Let's see. I wish Proximity thing alert. Works the way I expected expected to instead of some weird way. The AI seems very good at not running alert. headlong into things and exploding. I have a bit of a loss to my Alert. Systems over here. Scan initiated. What is that? Are they like ejecting? Huh. I think I've lost a bit of maneuverability thanks to that smashing I took. 
on my uh, wing there. Whoa, what the hell? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Oh dear. Deary me. Refreshing shields. Yeah. Stern shielding at half strength. Ow. Proximity Oh god. Alert. Systems overheating. Come on. Alert. Systems overheating. I could just. <clears throat> I'm doing surprisingly well considering the controls are just not working for me very well. Because of the way they were. Bizarre way they're set up. I don't know, maybe Chris likes to play it this way because he's. Oh, I shot a swing off just before it exploded. I wonder if when it says hostile eliminated, is that because I like took out its engine or what? All right, and now oh, okay, let's just uh, reset the okay. Contact. Oh, new Vandal Prime. I'm sure we'll be perfectly fine. Yeah. Oh crap. Ah! Ow! Stern shielding depleted. Proximity alert. Oh shit. Scan initiated. Refreshing shields. Oh, there's some refreshing shields. Oh shit. Uh. Oh. Oh god. Um Well, yeah, I'm I'm not Oh, my gun is gone. Great. Well, I can try to avoid fire by spinning. But that's about it now. And... Oh, my God. I think my cockpit is on fly fire. What's that? Oh, uh, hell. Fuck. Crap. Balls. Ah, no. Stop shooting me. Stop it. Wingman? Helpy? Helpy, wingman? Oh, and I blew up. Alright, well, that seems like a good place to end the video. You can actually respawn if you die, so you can just keep going, but... Yeah. So that's a bit of gameplay from the uh, Arena Commander. It actually runs pretty well. I have a GTX 660, and I'm running it on high settings. Wait, 670? GTX 6 something -y. 660 or 670, can't remember. In any case, it's, um, yeah, it's running just fine. Um, having very little slowdown. Uh, well, see you next time.